Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going wonderfully. This episode for what's on the agenda is the Flower Festival. And we have to defend our crown. We have won the Flower Festival two years running, and we certainly are not going to stop now. Not if I have anything to say about it. And uh, we should have more than enough flowers in order to get that done. Yeah. Uh, I think we could actually probably win the, just with what's in there right now, but anyway. You need to give away at least 50 flowers in order to uh, win the flower festival, but anyway, uh, that's not starting for another couple days. Today, however, what we have is we've got pineapples. Yes. Okay, so we only need one more harvest of these pineapples and then we can switch over to autumn crops. And in the meantime, let's get this stuff watered. Oh, and we also need to water our regular crops, don't we? And of course, those those pineapples should be ready for harvest again before before summer, so that shouldn't be a problem. Just want to check on everything. Oh, and our potatoes are also done, so we're going to need to replant these. Oh, and our strawberries are done, too. So these strawberries are currently two-star. The one on the end, however, is two-and-a-half-star, so... Probably will not be able to get two five-star strawberry seeds this year, but... Hopefully, we should be able to get to maybe three or f three and a half to four star, and then we'll be pretty much guaranteed to get to five star next year. And that's going to be one of our major goals for next year, but, well, that's for next year. For this year, we're just primarily concerned about making friends with everybody and getting the bazaar up to 100%, and... Well, the Flower Festival is certainly going to help with that. Hey, Ray. What are you up to, taking a break from work? I hope that's not tempura udon she's selling. I like these, thanks. Well, that's good to know. Oh, Ray. Hello. For me? Thanks. Hello there, Ray. Feel free to ask me any questions. For me, thanks. Alright. Welcome to Zaba Cafe. Rice ball udon noodles. Well... Okay, we might as well have some udon. Thank you, I hope you like it. I'm sure I will. Mm. Delicious. Is this for me? Th thank you very much. Hey there, what are you doing? Ray, shouldn't you be, like, working? I'll take it, I guess. We actually found a food that Cindy doesn't like. I'm shook. I'm shook. I'm shocked. I'm all that sort of stuff. Our silky trick, we can increase its friendship a little bit more than the others, but we don't really need to, because by the time... Our Silky will be able to compete in the Chicken Festival, well, then it will have plenty enough friendship. Same thing goes for the Jersey Cows. We could be brushing them like we are with the Silky Sheep, but we don't really need to. Because they'll be at max friendship before next year's Cow Festival, so it shouldn't be an issue. Get these turnips harvested. But it is raining hard, isn't it? And then, of course, we'll grab some turnip seeds and plant them. And as I was saying, put two in the left side and one in the right. And it should be... Yeah, it, it's looking like it is all of our... All of the animals that 
The, the, uh, I think, so, it, what it looks like is that animals are assigned to a particular fodder bin, and the same thing should go for the chickens, because as you might have noticed, we also have two spaces for chickens to be fed up here. If you made it this far in the video, don't forget to like it if you haven't already, to subscribe to this channel if you aren't already, and to let me know any thoughts you have down below. All that stuff really does help me out, and it helps my videos show up in your inbox more consistently, so do not forget. That's pretty nice. You're giving it to me? The, the thanks. So, how's married life? I'll stop by sometime and see how you two are doing. I love the scenery. It makes me glad that I came here. Well, we have officially increased Amir's heart level by one. Oh, that's nice. Oh, Ri, how's work going? But we still have a long way to go if we're going to get him to 10 hearts before the end of the year. Just a steady supply of milk. This is all we're gonna... Hopefully that'll be enough. These are 40 each, which is... I mean, we'd get like 60 to 65 per at the bazaar, which, again, really at this point is just not worth it. These are 55, which means we'd get probably around 90 per. So th that would be a pretty decent chunk of change, probably around 6,000 G. But again, I mean, we're our net worth is in the hun is over 100,000, and that's well, actually, our net worth is a few hundred thousand, but. What we've got in our pockets right now is almost 200,000 just because we can't really find a use for this money. So we don't really need to be getting any more. To be pinching every penny and all that kind of stuff. But then again, at the start, that's actually not a bad source of income is, is the lumber and the material stone. And if you really want to min-max, your income, that's that's something you should be doing because you're gonna need the axe and the hammer anyway. So while they're pretty expensive, well, I guess the main thing is that you can recoup some of the cost from that. But like I said, you know, you need the hammer and the axe anyway. So it's not like, oh, you're going into debt to do this thing that you're not really going to be getting much out of or anything like that. You need to be doing it. You need to be getting those, and well, it'll just help you. It'll help you recoup some of that expense and possibly even make you some profit eventually. Rushing out in the middle of a storm at almost midnight so that I can deliver this lavender. What? Is this for me? Thank you very much. Zephyr Town is a silly place, and plenty of pumpkins to harvest today. Uh, let's see, do we have... How many the radish seeds do we have? Oh, we've got 97. Yeah, we're not going to be making any more of those. Um, and we got 21 pumpkins in there. So that's 42 total of 51 pumpkin seeds, which should be more than enough to get us through. Um, this next summer, these Tau Trio eggs should be getting to four and a half stars soon, I think. Ooh, and cucumbers already. Two star for these, and let me guess, two and a half star over here. No, three star, nice. All right. Makes me fairly optimistic about our chances of getting to maybe even four and a half star for the for both the cucumbers and the strawberries this year. Wait, no, it's actually it's 32, so it's 32 pumpkin seeds that we're growing, right? Yeah, so that's 64 plus nine. We're actually going to have 73 pumpkin seeds. That's going to be. Plenty. 
All right, so let's get in here. Let's get these coffee tree seeds, and I can tell you the thing that I wanted to tell you about them. So I mentioned, uh, what was it Diego selling coffee tree seeds? He actually doesn't. Sherry does. And she doesn't until fall of year three, which means that getting coffee at the bazaar and turning them into coffee tree seeds, getting coffee at the 75% bazaar, may actually be the fastest way to do it, especially if you can get the bazaar up to 75% and your profits to the point where you can win um, before year three. What a pretty flower. Thank you, Ray. So she has flower festival dialogue. They specifically call out it being a flower only when it's the flower festival. But apparently she doesn't compete in the- or she doesn't participate in the flower- I don't know. All I know is from my understanding you don't get points from giving Amiko and a mirror and or your child flowers. But that doesn't seem to be accurate with Amigo's reaction to that flower. Giving flowers is quite elegant. Thanks. And see, Amir has flower festival dialogue too. But again, according to what I have heard, although I've never tested it myself because it doesn't really seem all that relevant of a thing to test, Amir and Amiko don't actually... you don't get points for the flower festival for giving them flowers. And maybe one of these days I will test it, but for now, that's just what I what I hear. So, oh well. Time for the flower festival announcement. Ready? Let's start. Great, let's get started. Welcome to the start of the Flower Festival! I'll explain how the festival works! The goal is to give away as many flowers as you can! The festival starts today and ends at noon on the 12th! Whoever has given the most flowers will be declared the winner! But really, as long as everyone gets flowers, then everyone wins! Have fun, everybody! Alright, let's see... Hmm... You can try giving these guys red... Oh, for the flower festival? Thanks, Ray. Oh, for the flower festival? Thank you very much. I don't want to give our wife a fairly fresh flower. For the flower festival? Thank you, honey. Aww. And there it is. Our gift given for the day. Done and over with, easy as pie. Mm. Oh, that's right, fertilizing. That's what you do, you fertilize. Oh, and actually, we should uh, also plant these. We should also plant these, uh, the olive tree and the, and the coffee. All right. Let's see, olive up top. Mm, no, olive down below. Olive below, coffee up top. All right. And I'm going to I'm going to forget that like right away. Good morning. Let's make today a great one. Nope. Again, not going to give our wife the fairly fresh flower, only only the best for Sherry. Only the best flowers. All right. Let's see if the Tao Trio are up to four and a half stars for their eggs. And new. New and no. Oh well, unfortunate, but it it just it takes some time, you know? And the asparagus is done. Speaking of things that take time, we're gonna have to go ahead and replant some of this. You're a strange person. I've never met anyone as interesting as you. And the same to you, sir. What a pretty flower. Thank you, Ray. Mm. 
Where even is that shrine? Honestly, like... In relation to the waterfall, where is the shrine? It's gotta be fairly close because when... During the winter, she can't do her fortune telling because... Because the waterfall is frozen. So... And, and she uses the waterfall to tell fortune, so it's gotta be somewhere close, but... I mean, it wouldn't be under the waterfall, would it? Wouldn't be under the river? That'd be a little weird, especially since you can see stuff growing on the edges. Who are you? Can't move from here. Water need help. Saved me. Thanks. Water caught by storm. Wind blew. Tossed me here. Water don't know how. Get home. Hear me up. Good person. Water. Happy. Being sad won't fix problem. Try best to find way home. Water is a character from Sunshine Islands. And... Or Sunshine Island. Is it Sunshine Islands or Sunshine Island? I forget. Anyway, uh, much like Chen and Ganon are. So... Now you know. But yeah, that's uh, that's the water gets stuck. Hey Ray, you look bored. Uh, random event. For me, thanks Ray. Hey there, what are you doing? Ray, shouldn't you be like working? Oh, thanks Ray. Oops. No, 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 come on. Wait. Um, hello. Um, thank you very much. You can't really befriend Wada, he's like Chen and Ganon, he doesn't really have... He doesn't have any friendship hearts, but you can come to the racetrack and talk to him. Yeah, most characters, they have a blinking animation, but obviously because you can't see Felix's eyes behind his glasses, so instead he has an eyebrow twitch animation. Hi Ray, how are you doing? Thank you, Ray! No. Oh, there's Isaac. Or Lloyd. Busy. Don't work too hard. I was doing so well with Lloyd's name. For me? Thanks. Well, I'm sorry to leave you hanging as to how the Flower Festival is going to turn out, but we're going to have to end the episode here for now. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the rest of your day is a good one, and I hope to see you later. Bye.